Hello everyone, today is uh, Wednesday, uh, February 9, around 8.57 p.m. in your time. Okay, here we go with the same, uh, trying to forecast uh, the market for tomorrow. Uh, guys, the market's been what we call out of sync for, the, uh, for this week, even though we were forecasting that the U.S. dollar is going to get weak uh, for the next 48 hours, we say that on Monday. Uh, we're getting close to the turn in favor of the US dollar, but still we see like uh, the whole market is not in sync. What I say in sync, it means in rhythm. I mean, uh, do, all the pairs do not have to turn at the same time. That's impossible to happen, but they should be showing some structure when uh, you will see that you are close to turn and that I ain't seeing happenings uh, yet but well sometimes market can trick you out and that's something that is related to the earlier way principle when I always told my friend that nothing is right in a storm meaning that anything can happen and we need to adjust because I, I mean doesn't mean that because we present account that's the right count so that's my own point of view that's my point of view as a waiver as a forecaster all right let's try to figure out these whole things for today uh, in other words this is a mess tonight uh, the, for yesterday and today it's been a mess uh, in terms of rhythm with this mic okay this is the euro pound with a clear five way down this is the way we look at it guys look five way down a clear divergence here meaning that this is a five way low not right now from here if we go to a lower chart right here let's go over here we looks like we have one two oh we have one two three four five and this is three four and extend the five and then wave V right here and it looks like is testing the 51 the 50 percent level on the, the fuel level from the wave one now if you look at the RSI this is the higher read in this way and then we got divergence here and then we have another high so that's what we call in this A this B and the top can be in place in this pair easily the top can be in place be careful about it. This is the euro pair, the euro pound, when we calling for euro witness against the pound. All right, but no clear. I mean, it's not a clear cut. Okay, this is the stealing of uh, a cable, whatever you want to call it, the cable uh, pounds or uh, the GBP against the dollar. We believe this is a three way, guys. Remember that we've been saying that we need one more high, that's the GBP. I mean one more high right here on the GBP right the thing is this what we need is a, 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 a wave 5 to complete the move from here but this is getting too deep in time too deep in price action it's almost 50 percent already of wave 3 doesn't mean cannot do it all right it can't as far as this level 59.91 is in place there should be no issue with it. Now, the stroke is telling me that it's either a three-way here, but this looks this looks correct too. So that's what we're calling for the leading diagonal here. So this is a pair that I will advise to you guys to be away on it, and wait. I mean, in other words, wait and see before you guys take take side. Put it this way, a move above this level right here 161.81 is gonna mean that 162.78 is gonna be taken but this move needs to be if there is no a low below 160.23 in other words if you get a print below 160.23 and then you got a top you got five waves and then it's gonna be like well, how it is right here if you get to one 61.85 before getting a new low that means that this is a three-way and you're gonna get another high to pro 
around 164 all right that's the pound no clear that's what I say the market is immense these days okay this is the euro dollar five ways three back this calendar I'm showing I mean it was presented to me by for a friend of mine then and it's pretty good we present to you guys this and we present to you guys the other one when we are uh, in we see already uh, and possible another uh, move to this area in the way on the double six side but instead of be a triangle B I mean it was a B one two three four five a B C here and the, but this is I mean I like this count better than the other one because the the closer that these two low were right here that means that this possible this is the right count if that's the case this it looks like it did a five way but the new low was minimal we would feel more comfortable it would getting a little bit lower right here it wasn't gonna get three back but it's gonna deny a new high we are in the position here in the top great I mean we got it right 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 uh, the, the higher print we got was 137.44 we got a 137.41 I'm sorry 137.40 so it shouldn't get that back so that's why we sent to cover the trade and the stop to break even because if it break 13740 it's gonna get to 13778 minimum all right so possible top in place already but you're gonna feel more comfortable when you see this trend line break into the downside which right now is around 13660 that's gonna be a better confirmation that the top is in place but it looks like a WSY structure and those structures that are very compressed I like this count better than the one that the other one we call them with the uh, WSY but either one of them is possible all right so possible topping in the euro already or one more high okay this is the the dollar against the chain as you see in the forest overview we call in for Dora win next tonight one of the reasons is because we believe we believe that the US dollar against the yen is ending and uh, technically end wave one at 8267 and it's gonna put back in three ways back uh, right here into this area why we base that we base that in these guys look look at this divergency this cannot be wave one or three because that goes against the rules this is a four or five the thing is that last week because of the new we didn't we I mean the 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 swing in one two wasn't able to see right here so that's why probably I mean you don't see the wave one and two right here because it happens in the same time but for me this is the right count one two or oh, remember there is a triangle in the daily which this can be walking a new high right here remember you need an ABC from here so this can be a B and then C to around 8290 to complete that triangle that comes down on the daily basis anyway this divergence is telling me that it's gonna be dollar, uh, a dollar witness against the gen real soon okay what else this is the pound is the gen. we saw this one already okay the US dollar against the Swedish franc great trade we have right here great position should no trade that low with extension that we have if you look at it guys the divergency I'm sorry the fever levels 94 or 5 is the 76 and we are below that level so technically we are set to a fly only denying the impulse ways right here plus the other one is gonna take that bus speed out I don't even see that correction go that deep and this drop is this drop is in three ways right here this drop is in three ways right here but I don't see that deep in either in time it's too fast also I don't see either this drop that deep in in price and too fast so I'm expecting something like this 
to complete the correction on the US dollar against the Swedish franc and that's gonna take that's gonna take the euro dollar lower to around 170 and uh, 137.70 that's what we're expecting and that's what made most sense to us but well you never know how the things are I mean like I say today's market I've been telling friend it's a totally mess reason why on uh, since why it is it's a mess for me okay this is the the US dollar index look the last the last low we got right here it got divergence that's telling me that we're getting pretty close to the end and we're getting pretty close to a reverse in the US dollar index now way to look at it this is an impulse one two three four and five and this is career corrected it, it passed a bit the 50 percent fever level here but and I don't know I don't know if it's gonna make another another low to this level and then it's gonna go from here and then from here it's gonna go like this why because you can count it as a one two three four and then a five right here and then something compressed right here like a, a a a flag right here b and then a b but it can be counted as a complete correction too that's what I say we're gonna keep the two position they are both very good position I mean I don't have any doubt about the US dollar against the Swedish franc uh, but I have some I mean I still believe that the dollar against the US dollar can provide a new corrective high around 137.70 but I wanna be clear guys the top can be in place and we are ready for the round all right so let's leave it there for tonight i'm gonna i mean okay let me show you before we close right here okay this is the u.s dollar five minutes let me show you something it looks like it is one two three four and a five already if that's the case top is in place let me show you something else rsi is giving me divergence here that's telling me that possible five ways in the five minute chart. Most of the times, that means that the top is in place. But anyway, either the top is in place or no, we're gonna get three back right here like this before it drop. Last, let me show you one more thing right here, which is gold. I mean the silver trade didn't move tonight but the gold trade didn't also but remember the silver is very deep but look at gold gold is getting close and the way that we count on it is a five ways here b here what can be a triangle here like it is a b c d e and then from here we need five ways so I didn't count it as a triangle because it looks much more to me like it's one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and possible another high here to end to end the correction. So let's leave it there. I believe that it's gonna get a point soon when everything is getting into uh, rhythm things, and then we're gonna have a better picture. Very close to the end. It's going to be a huge move in the U.S. dollar, so be ready, guys. Thank you. Have a good night.